It's James and I'm back in the shop again. It's uh, Super Bowl Sunday and before the game I'm trying to get a little work done uh, on the new bench. So if you saw my last video I included um, some video from the previous bench I built and the way I did that was to take the partitions and screw them to the cleats and then once they were all assembled I put them up to the wall and it worked pretty well. But I have a problem in this shop and I'm going to hand hold the camera and try to explain it. So stay tuned. So in this shop it has a plywood floor on this half. And I didn't build this floor of course, but the problem I have is that from this end of the, of the shop over to the corner where I'm building the whole bench, the floor slopes first this way and then as you come this way it slopes back against the wall and then it slopes this way again and then it slopes this way again. Um, the, the wall also isn't entirely plumb straight up and down. So a perfect rectangle doesn't fit um, in any of the spaces. So my method of um, attaching the cleats to the partitions building the whole bench and, some, and then screwing it to the wall and the floor won't work because the whole bench would, wouldn't be flat. Um, so what I've decided to do is screw the cleats onto the wall in the heights that I want them first and then let me take you over here. Sorry for how fast I'm moving. Um, I have cut all of the nine partitions uh, that will hold the drawer slides and hold up the bench and they're all perfectly sized, uh, perfectly square. So what I've decided to do in order to make everything flat is I took two by fours that are the same width as the partitions and with my stacked dado head I cut a groove the size of the plywood one and a half inches deep into each of these two by fours and then what I will do is slide the partition into the uh, two by four that has the groove and take it up to the wall and then make it plumb and make it um, slope to the floor. I didn't want to use little shims under each of those uh, partitions. It just would have been too much work. And I don't like little shims under something that's going to get heavy, heavy use. So I cut the cleat for the floor in the 2x4 and then the, there's the cleat for the top and the cleat for the back and then I will go and size where the cleat in the bottom is depending on how the partition has to be set up to be plumb and level and then I will glue, I'll mark it and then glue these in. Um, some of them will, will be pushing off this way and some of them will be pushing off this way but I can level them with this, glue it and then each of the partitions will be different but I'll end up with a perfectly flat bench. I've also cut the half laps in the cleats where they join um, to keep a nice flat surface along the top. So, um, bear with me. This is uh, doing it a little bit different. Um, but I have everything I need to get started. I have all my drawer slides. Um, and so, we will get started trying to put in the first partition over there and then work our way down. So stay tuned. So I mentioned yesterday that I had cut these partitions and uh, I've got uh, oh four or five of them cut now and we cut notches to match the where the cleats are in the walls and notch the bottom of the 2x4 that uh, will fit over the bottom cleat. Um, but I did want to show you what I decided to do was I cut a bunch of uh, right angle blocks and then I am gluing and shooting a nail into the corners to hold them plumb 
and uh, hold them in position and add a bunch of strength to the whole system um, which makes it easier to assemble it piece by piece I just have to make sure the distance between them is the same and make sure they're plumb because they are all the same size but I did want to show and I hope I can show this that when I shim the bottom there's a gap that big at the front that is secured by uh, screws and, and glue um, but that's where I needed to space that to get it level at the top because the floor in this part of the floor slopes down but you can see the difference um, in this one. This one's a, a little bit wider um, on that partition but the one well you probably can't see it. Let me, let me move over. The ones over here closer to the wall um, don't have nearly as much gap because the floor doesn't slope so much. So I think overall it was a pretty good system rather than just sticking shim shingles underneath um, each of the partitions. So I'm going to just continue on. Um, there's going to be, well there's nine partitions uh, 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 nine of these so there'll be eight openings five of which will be filled with drawers and then I'm going to use this opening at the end it's just the right size for my vacuum cleaner to get it out of the way I'll cut that cleat off the floor so the vacuum cleaner will roll in and then over at the end there'll be two open spots and that's where I will store my rolling carts and we'll try to color coordinate and paint everything to match. So that's just a quick update. I'm going to continue on. Uh, pretty soon I'll be able to add this outside cleat um, which will strengthen the front and keep the fronts of these uh, partitions uh, plumb and properly distanced from the one next to it. So that's just my update for now and uh, I will update further as I go. So it's another beautiful day in Colorado Springs and I just wanted to do another update. I got all of the bench framework in yesterday and today I'm going to be building the 2x4 top. If you've looked at my previous videos you'll see that it's a 2x4 top that comes a, a little further out, maybe two inches out and it's built like a ladder um, as a matter of fact I have uh, put my stack dado head in and I've clamped two 2 by 4s together and every 16 inches I've marked out a spot to do a cut so that when I'm done um, it'll take away exactly half of the 2x4 so that they fit together flush and then I will end up with a system like this that'll have it'll be glued with four screws four inch and a quarter screws in there and it will be like a ladder across the entire bench and then a plywood top goes on that and then the uh, masonite goes on top of that so that I can uh, replace the surface if it gets damaged. But before we get that far um, I'm going to build this section and then I'm going to build a jig to start hanging all of my drawer slides so that they're all in the exact same place on either side of the partitions. And we will be recording that um, after I get done with this. So stay tuned okay here's another messy shop update I have finished most of the 2x4 top um, like I said in the previous uh, video um, these are uh, uh, cut to fit flush and I have them at 16 inch intervals 
through the top. Now I still have the back section to do, it's the last two feet. And of course those won't be spaced exactly correctly, but... Um, so anyway, this worked out really well. Everything's level, everything's plumb. Uh, so today, um, before I hang the drawer slides, I should do some painting so that I can, uh, uh, won't have to paint around the drawer slides. Um, and by the way, the drawer slides I got, um, wonderful drawer slides, 18 inch, 100 pound full extension drawer slides, 20 of them. And uh, at woodworkerexpress.com, um, they were only $4.33 a pair. So what a deal. Um, these same uh, drawer slides are at Home Depot for almost $14 a piece. So quite a deal. Um, let me verify. I have the shipping label over here. Um, verify that website. And uh, yes, it is woodworkerexpress.com so we'll be back when we're hanging drawer slides and uh, see how that goes well good morning it's James I'm back in the shop and uh, I wanted to do another update about how I'm going to put the drawer slides in you can see I did some painting uh, grizzly green on some of the areas that are going to be exposed I didn't bother painting anything that the drawers would hide really well. Um, those two bays over there are going to be to put my rolling carts in to get them out of the way. But we're going to be putting 22 drawers in. Um, and I built this jig yesterday and these will be holding the drawer slides at the appropriate heights. And as far as I can see this is pretty uh, square and pretty plumb. And what we do then is we hang it on one of these partitions like this and then just to be safe um, even though the partitions are pretty pretty level we're just going to check and this is just a smudge off but my experience with building drawers is that if they're a little off those drawer slides are very forgiving but this is enough that I think I should just put a little shim under this side like this there we go and now it's level right there right, right there so we can take the drawer slide and position it inside these holders like this keep it flush with the front like this and then there's room to put in two screws um, and then just work our way down flip it around and do the other side so that's my plan for today what I, what I like to do as well is just to be safe I have a digital protractor and if I put it on the holder to see, I am two thousandths of an inch off of level right now. So this should be well within tolerance to uh, get everything matched up. So I'm going to be putting in 44 drawer slides and um, if my knees hold up. <laughs> and I'll be back when that's done. And then we're going to be building the top. So. Stay tuned. Okay, it's uh, Saturday afternoon. I think it's the 10th. And I've just put in 44 drawer slides for 22 drawers. Um, I used my, my jig to uh, line everything. And then most of the way through, I would pull out one every now and then, like this and set a level on it just to make sure that just to make sure that they were going in level I hope you can see that because when the when the drawer slides are level um, it just makes the box assembly much easier 
Also, in these drawer glides, there are, let me see if I can show you. See, there's a, a long one and a circle in another long one. I'm, I used mostly the ones that go up and down a slot that goes up and down because since they all meet flush in the front they would need very little adjustment in and out so I didn't need to use those elongated slots but as I build the drawers if they're a little sticky or I need to adjust the the problem is they probably need to be um, either leveled or they might be a bit askew or maybe I mounted the the slide on the drawer a little askew so um, using the slots that go up and down lets me adjust the slide this way so um, anyway that's the drawer slides my knees are killing me um, and the next thing is to start assembling the top and the top is completely cut out and ready to go uh, all the pieces are here and over there so I will start assembling the top and we'll see where we end up later bye for now Okay, so today we got the 2x4 top installed and got the 3 quarter plywood top uh, cut, trimmed, scribed, and installed. And um, the rolling carts fit very well underneath to get more room in the shop. And then I tapped into that electrical box over there, ran the wires under the bench, and had them come out here in the front and I'm going to be installing two of these um, electric strips uh, well you know what they are these uh, power strips in the front there um, so when I get those done then we'll be putting some trim on the whole thing to uh, dress it up a little bit and then we'll be putting the uh, uh, masonite top on. So stay tuned, there'll be more. Well, while my grandkids are out riding around on the tractor, I have been doing work in the shop. So today, I got all my drawer plywood, not all of it, but most of it, cut down to size. These would be the six inch drawers here, the seven inch drawers, the nine and a half inch drawers, and then the various thicknesses um, because those partitions weren't exactly perfect, but they're about a sixteenth of an inch apart. But if I cut the drawers to allow for those sixteenths, uh, they should fit just fine. So this is going to be the last one. Uh, before I make a video and post it and then I will uh, do a segment just on the drawer building starting from there so this is James signing off for now thank you for watching thank you for coming back thank you for your subscriptions and uh, and your comments so come back again we will be uh, building drawers for the new bench next